Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Firefly Tarot, and if you're new here, welcome. Uh, so today I'm going to be doing advice from Spirit, and I'm not really sure what the situation will be about, but I'm going to trust that whatever your guides and Spirit have for you is going to be the right message for you at this current time. So only watch this if you are called to it. Um, and if you want to follow up to this one, if it does resonate, you can check out any of my other past pick of cards and hopefully the messages tie together. So we have here the four groups and as usual, the timestamps are listed below. This is a general reading. If you'd like a personal reading, I do those and um, you can find the link below. And I'm just going to go by color. So I had recently ordered these cats. They're, I, I don't know if like they're dancing cats or something, but they're so cute and I wanted to use them. And again, I'm just going by color here, so I'll show you each one. So we have here group number one, I'll just say the black cat. And they do stand up, <laughs> but the picture wasn't good. Uh, group number two, I'll just say the orange cat. Group number three, we'll say the white cat. And group number four is the gray cat. Okay. So again, just take as much time as you need. You can pause the video if you need to. And whenever you are ready, I will see you at your reading. Hey guys, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number one, which is the black cat. Um, so I was mentioning in the intro, I'm not sure what this advice is going to be about, but we'll see. Just, I guess, try to have an open mind because your guides can sometimes surprise you and talk about stuff that, you know, maybe wasn't even on your mind, but they will provide you the best advice. So Spirit and also the guides of uh, Group 1, this reading is for Group 1, please, our Black Cat group. Please and thank you. Spirit, can you let us know what uh, is... Your current advice, please, for our group number one. What is your current advice or what is your first message for them, for those in group one? So the black cat, I kind of felt had a message um, in itself and it said, look closely. That's what they said, look closely. I really don't know what this means, obviously, but a very ominous message. Um, something could be uh, kind of hidden for me right now. I don't think it's in a really, I, I don't know in what way, because it's not always going to be in a malicious way. Like I always think of Seven of Swords. Um, that actually is a pick a card that I've done, what is hidden from you, if you want to check any of that out from the past readings. Spirit, what is your first message? So there, it does seem to me that there will be some kind of clarity coming to you in the very close future, probably even as close as two days from whenever you're watching this, okay? Um, it does have to do with your spiritual growth, your spiritual path, something very important to your wish fulfillment. And this is what they're going to be clarifying for you. Now that is going to depend on your situation. Some of you it could align with what you already know and you'll have further clarity. But for others of you, I'm not sure, it might be less than half of you, this could actually look different. So that's why they said look closely. You have to make sure that whatever it is right now that you're putting all of your energy towards is aligned with your true path. That's that's kind of their their message. They're They're wanting to really get your attention on this as well. The deck is really st just sticky because when the humidity, it's hard to shuffle, sorry. I might have to switch decks. Okay, yeah. So they are going to show you within two to three days. Um, they did say that they're going to show you that better clarity, that um, sharper clarity or something like that. And for, for some of you, either you're going to move on from something that wasn't quite fitting with whatever it is that you wanted to do, and the rest of you, you're just going to keep moving forward. Okay, so by the end of it, by the third or fourth day-ish, what you're going to feel is a sense of, I think, um, inner balance or harmony. Something's going to fit. Something's going to basically give you kind of like this feeling of smooth sailing, whereas before it could have had this type of conflict, okay? So whatever this, whatever area of your life this is resonating with, this is going to be coming in very, very shortly, okay? What else is your advice? What do they need to know, Spirit? What is your direct advice for group one? So 
So this is only for those of you who have this uh, specific situation, but with the Queen of Wands, I am seeing that there's multiple passions that are burning right now in front of your eyes, and you may not necessarily know which of those to focus on at once. And the I guess issue with that is sometimes if we are not focused on one thing, it can be overwhelming uh, to focus on multiple things at once, especially if you have a high passion for each of those things. And it, I, I don't know if that, um, for some of you, if that kind of just uh, takes away from the strength of your goal, I, I don't, because I, again, it's different for everyone, but I think that they do want you to focus on just one particular thing right now so that that flame can burn the brightest out of anything, uh, especially if you were splitting your attention and splitting your energy. So they do kind of want you to focus on just one thing. Now, for the rest of you, for all of you now, um, the, with the Wheel of Fortune... There clearly is a path of your highest good that is unfolding right before your eyes. It's they they are showing me. It's it's funny because they they actually showed me this image of a red carpet that was unrolling. So I thought that was funny because that's usually like associated with um those award shows and and whatever like some kind of fame or notoriety or something like that. So they said that that is the path that you're walking and it is unfolding right before you. Um, I kind of see you as looking more into the future and not necessarily looking at the unfolding process. So perhaps the advice there, it's almost implied, maybe they, they do want you to kind of just enjoy the moment. It's not to even say take one day at a time, take one step at a time. They actually said enjoy the moment. Enjoy the moment that you're in so that you can get the most out of this process and you don't have to constantly be exhausted by thinking about the future, looking into the future, living in the future. I think that's kind of what they're going for here. Um, Spirit, what else do we need to know? What is your specific advice for our group one, our black cat group? And it's looking really good. Um, they did give me this sort of flash of some of you doing some writing. I don't know if it's creative writing or if it's journal writing or even intention or affirmation writing. Whatever the case is, writing in this current time is going to really help to get you to the next level. Um, so I suppose it kind of depends on your your preference, but if you have trouble sticking to things, then writing down affirmations and intentions could be helpful if you do it maybe even every day. Uh, if you have trouble keeping organized, then same thing goes is that you can use either a planner or a journal or something like that. If you have trouble more emotionally and you have that feeling of uh, if you're just overwhelmed, then you can write down in your journal to have a release. These are just some ideas. But in any regard, in any way, writing is, they're, they're recommending that you do some writing now. And for, for specifically this week, for some reason. Uh, with the Eight of Wands, we are seeing that you're moving forward. And I am not really seeing any other issues. I think they wanted to give you some... Just some minor advice, actually, because I think you're on the right track regardless. I don't think you really have to necessarily take any drastic actions or anything. I think it's just a matter of taking the next few steps and then everything else, like I said before, is going to unfold, <clears throat> unfurl or something like that. Um, anything else? Any other final messages or advice? I might even get just a bonus deck for you guys, like a oracle deck perhaps. Okay, so um, that's that's pretty much it. We're seeing here the Knight of Cups and the the Four of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is where you are moving forward in this sort of fluid way. And the Four of Cups, I'm not sure if it's exactly... It does look like a little bit of some sort of hesitation, but only from some of you. I think only like a good maybe 20% of you would need to hear this message, where if you feel a little bit stuck, if you feel a little bit uncertain, or almost not open, not ready for certain things, but I'm talking specifically about receiving, receiving positive energy, receiving some sort of goodness from the universe, receiving some sort of achievement even, something like that. Um, they are indicating that some of you may not be 100% aligned to that specific thing. Um, if that's the case, what is their advice for only those few people that need to hear that? 
It might even just be look closely like I felt before. Um, and with the moon card, yeah, th this is talking about looking beneath the surface of things. This is asking you to look more closely at your own fears, your own, I would say your subconscious because that's what the moon tends to represent for me. Um, so yeah, just looking deeper than just what are your surface goals? What are what are the things you want to do in your outer world and your outside, like... Um, you know all, all of what it looks like but what does it feel like underneath are you feeling some sort of internal fear are you feeling some sort of wall that is between you and what you desire so they're asking you to look really closely and actually that's where a perfect place to do some reflective journal writing um, any bonus message let's just get um, for our group number one any final message for them about advice of what to do here or anything else that we need to focus on Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, if, if anything, the advice here is just to keep, I mean, they did kind of say keep your eye on the prize, but what I think they mean by that, what I'm feeling from this card is that they want you to embody this energy of openness and prosperity, even just right now. Um, because I think by doing that, it, that's all you're really doing. You're, you're kind of surrounding yourself currently, or they want you to try this to surround yourself currently in this golden light. And you you know, it's funny is like, I never really did affirm, um, did visualizations with golden light. Typically I would do something like white light or, you know, like other variations, but it never really occurred to me to do gold light. I don't know why, <laughs> um, but that's what they showed me for you guys. So do it, maybe try a simple visualization. You're picturing yourself surrounded in this flourishing thriving golden light. And I think that in itself is going to help you to attract uh, all kinds of abundance and prosperity. Um, not It doesn't have to necessarily be things like money, but I, I'm really talking about an energy that you're going to attract. Um, and maybe they're giving you some sort of a, I feel like what they just gave you here is almost a key, a key to something greater where if you had struggled doing this before, I, I really feel like this is going to help to budge something that was maybe an obstacle for you. So that's really amazing advice at the end there. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm seeing. Other than that, I think it's going to go really well. Just keep, you know, keep moving forward. Um, if some of you feel like you have some uh, more obstacles and challenges that are more recurring patterns, again, if you want, you can check out some of my other pick of cards or even look into maybe there's a blockage in any of your chakras. I have some videos for that as well um, in the description. Uh, so I think group one, I'll leave it there. I really, really hope that this was helpful. Very interesting reading. And if you'd like a personal reading with uh, just personalized messages for you, I, I do personal readings and uh, the link is below. As always, thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next reading. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey guys, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number two, which is the orange cat or I guess maybe tan. Um, so I'm going to get the advice from Spirit. If your guides have anything to add, um, I invited them into this reading as well. Spirit, this reading is for group number two, our orange cat group. Please and thank you. I might, I'm kind of struggling with this deck because the humidity makes the cards really sticky. I might have to switch it, but let's see. Spirit, what is your first message, please, for our group two, our orange cat group? What is your first piece of advice for them or anything a starting message wise about their situation whichever situation is in their highest good to know about thank you so this is interesting to me um definitely a different vibe completely but group one did get something about uh they got the six of swords which is kind of my alternate version of this eight of cups card so um i keep saying that i want to do collective readings but something is blocking me from doing that so i, I please remind me if i forget that i want to do the collective energy readings um, I think we're meant to walk away from something in the collective very soon. I know that sounds kind of like something that usually happens, but the energy is really, really strong here. Um, for you guys, though, I'm trying to figure this out as I'm going along because there's a very specific message I'm feeling for you, and yet at the same time, it's not really coming out. I, I don't know if this is something emotional that you're feeling, but I kind of got a, a little bit of a feeling of running away and maybe even avoidance. So that could be why I'm having, like I'm struggling to get this message out. So it does remind me of that avoidance-based avoidance fear I, or fear-based avoidance rather. 
So, and it's funny because you're going in two different directions. So I don't know if there's like this level of indecision here. So Knight of Swords, I don't, it, it is kind of running away from something or even sort of running towards perhaps the past. And then the Eight of Cups is just like, I'm done with something. So I, I'm not really sure what you're dealing with, but it's already, I mean, it's a very interesting message, but let's see. What is the advice or what do they need to know next, please? I mean, if you're going one way and then the other way, it feels like you're left in limbo if you're split in two different directions. And then here we have the moon, which does feel like there is this inner battle or even a battle between you and someone else as well in some way, but more so emotionally and subconsciously or, or psychically too. They're showing me even this mirror between, like right here, between the cards. And then we have the scales here. <clears throat> okay, what is the advice or what is the situation, please? They, they still didn't tell me what it is. Or, or rather, maybe you didn't. <laughs> like, your energy didn't. It's, it's not ready for some reason. It's not ready. I'm getting a lot of red here, too. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Seven of Wands. What am I looking at? Um, okay. Let me, um, for a moment, let me just grab a card from my other deck here. Spirit, can you please let us know what are they, what, what is, what are they trying to tell us? This is your energy. This is not advice. What is group two trying to tell us? What's lodged here in their subconscious that they want to get out pretty badly, actually. Uh huh. You see, it's the same thing. It's completely stuck. It's honestly a bit paralyzed. Um, it feels em like emotional or emotional paralysis. And it really, it, it brought to mind that term analysis paralysis. I don't know if you've heard of that term. It sounds fake, but it's a real term. Um, yeah, like you're just unable to make this decision. Like it, there, it really feels like you're completely stuck in the middle. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to figure this out from a different perspective. The energy is stuck, group two. Um, if this happens to be your first time watching this, um, my readings usually don't go this way. So, so just bear with me for a second. But it does feel to me emotionally, okay? Um, I really feel like this is more emotional based. Yes, there's some energetic um, stuff going on here, but I think this is an emotional uh more subconscious thing going on here th that for some reason you're totally stuck in the middle um probably yes there are influences from the past that are causing this right and you can see with the knight of swords going this way and same thing with queen of pentacles looking this way she's actually not really looking at anything in the present or the future she's kind of stuck looking at her pentacle in her lap she's just sort of sitting there um and here with the Nine of Pentacles, I kind of felt like that was a little bit of almost distracting one's self, not looking at what's around them, but just distracting themselves with something that's immediately in front of them. Maybe it could be like that instant gratification thing. Um, some of you, there could be some like uh, issues with like habits, you know, for example, being addicted to the like the phone or, you know, just something more that can take you away, take you away, that escapism. With the Six of Pentacles, I'm starting to feel a little bit of some kind of in, um, information coming through. There could be that swinging back and forth. Maybe in your recent past, there was some kind of decision that was relevant. Now, as I'm moving towards the right here, this is really interesting how this is coming through. The Hierophant card, I feel, is like your spirit guides. I feel like the, these are your guides or just any spiritual universal energy trying to lead you somewhere, trying to guide you somewhere right? But I'm still feeling a disconnect. Even though the cards are actually all kind of combined, I'm feeling a disconnect. What is causing this, please? What is causing the Four of Pentacles? Or, yeah, the Four of Pentacles, please. What's causing this? Stuckness. What's the issue? I really didn't expect this. I thought it was just going to be straightforward advice. Huh. So these are the same two cards. So you got it. You got it again. Um, Healer of Polynoses is the Queen of Pentacles, and then you got Go, which is the Chariot card. 
I mean, I think for some of you, it could just, not that this is a simple matter, but um, I think for some of you, it could just simply be that you did not have that guidance. And therefore, like, you didn't have the guidance or nurturing or care um, in your earlier life. And that's why it's difficult for you to go and move forward because you maybe were never taught how to. Something like that. That, that could be for some of you. Anything else of what could be causing this, please? I have really never felt an energy that's this stuck in a pick a card before um th this is almost a new thing for me uh so i am going to recommend immediately that you guys um look into the seven chakra healing i know i talk about it a lot but if you have not yet please check out the video that i have in my description where i talk about this stuff because i have had a lot of blockages in my chakras too and it sucks and it, it holds up your entire life so if you feel like this resonates you, you may want to go into that video and see some of the introductions that i talk about okay because that's what i'm feeling here i'm feeling like this debilitating fear stuckness um probably trauma based as as usually is um but this is completely like holding you up in your life which in turn turns into the advice we'll get there so this is again the same card it, it, i don't know why it's repeating itself so the hierophant and the teacher you know that could be also a, a clue for me is that again maybe nobody ever taught you how to do certain of these things whether it like this kind of brings to mind taking care of oneself like physical body physical environment even could be the finances could be something with your career because obviously the pentacles but there's just something here it's not adding up and it just feels like yeah that that that's what i think was causing it for the most part could have been what else do we need to know? Is there any other advice or anything that they need to hear in order to move this forward to get this um, unstuck? The Definitely with the chakras, it would be, I would think, the first chakra, the root one. So even if you were to visualize that space, it's located at the base of the spine, the color red. Um, I suppose if you were able to tap into that space, you would feel the blockage yourself. Now, as I'm tapping into it with you guys, um, I'm feeling a very heavy, it looks like a mini boulder. It, it was like this, this round rock, but it was quite large. It was basically as large as the chakra is supposed to be. Um, it wasn't like this little pebble or rock. It, it was a, a, like a mini boulder. Like, so it was quite large. Um, and it was completely covering the entire thing. Um, so in the videos below, I explain how you can do some healing for that. You can do some energy healing. I have the separate video for that. So you can visualize that this rock, this huge rock thing that is blocking you is either... You can creatively get in there and maybe like hit it with a strike of lightning so it just disintegrates. You can maybe make it like visualize that it's melting away. You can use the elements to kind of anything at all you can to get rid of it or you can pluck it out. I mean, it's really up to you how, whatever feels right for you, but I recommend you ask your angels and guides to help you to unblock this part of yourself, okay? Um that needs to go. That needs to completely just be you need to be freed cuz something has been blocking you. So again, if it is true that you've had some type of early life traumas, uh, and you were not properly taken care of or you didn't feel safe in some way, especially with the physical needs, right? Emotional too. Um, then this could have caused this blockage in the root chakra. Uh, what is your advice now besides that? I know that was a lot, group two, I'm sorry. Uh, but just it just all came flying out at the end there. Um, what else is your advice for them in their current situation? Oh, and did I say to you guys that I, I was seeing a lot of red? That makes sense. I didn't even realize that the root chakra is red. So remember, I, I think I said that I had a whole bunch of red clothing and stuff. Um, so here with the five of uh, swords, what is the advice? This is, again, still a very disjointed message, but I'll give you what I see. With the Five of Swords, I kind of saw that you or an energy near you, it was almost like this petty battle energy. Someone here was feeling kind of snarky and snide and kind of like, 
um, I think like someone here was criticizing someone else. Like, so I do feel like this is not your energy. I feel like this is someone in your energy field or even in your memories. And someone here was really making a big deal out of like some petty battles and like trying to make an argument with you, something to that effect. And here with the two of, uh, with the two of wands, I, I, you know, they keep, they keep giving me a different thing that I'm asking for, which I'm fine with, but it was a little confusing here. I think I saw what happened. I think with a lot of you, what happened here as a result of some of this other energy we saw is that you escaped within yourself. Maybe you started daydreaming. Maybe you started, um, spending time with yourself and retreating within your shell and like trying to guard yourself and just like completely isolating yourself in a lot of ways and feeling very alone something like that but it's interesting of what you did when you were in these i guess like not fantasies but like you were imagining things and stuff but i think that a lot of what you did was still really good work like there was a lot of positive things that you were visualizing um and even manifesting actually without even realizing it okay so what is the advice please Aha, we finally have the advice. Okay, and this is really beautiful advice, the way that this came together. They are recommending for you to begin to take care of yourself, but in a way that's very, very self-loving and not just you. We are never alone. We have our guides, we have our angels, we have the universe, we have spirit, obviously, we have Mother Earth. Um, they call it, it, was it Earth Mother and Sky Father? just like as Jen, I, I'm not too sure, but like to kind of like uh, borrow that masculine and feminine nurturing energies. Here they're asking you to think about the way that you want to start over. Because over here, th there was just so much going on, right? Because over here, this was kind of like, I have to tell you, they said false start. Almost like you weren't meant to be like, you weren't meant to land wherever you landed and yet here you are obviously things happen for a very specific reason but they're asking you now what way do you want to start over in your life and that is completely up to you and that is your freedom that i think that's the advice how like they're asking you to think about how, in what way do you want to start over and in what way do you want to free yourself because here you're unburdened you only have what's absolutely essential this is the fool card by the way this is the king of pentacles um so they're asking you to realign yourself think about what way you want to start over in what way in what even small way can you begin to take care of and nurture yourself really really beautiful message there because even if it wasn't there in our past we can always somehow energetically recreate it or i guess like you know have some type of rebirth from that energy is always possible to work with no matter from when it is you know so group two, you know, I, I know that this was a little like kind of, it seemed a bit off topic or whatever, but perhaps it was hopefully perfectly fitting with whatever it is that you're, you were going through. Do we have a final card, a final message of advice for group number two? Yeah, they, they kind of said, um, stop the fighting or put down the sword, which is exactly the energy that I felt from this card. This was like a card of fighting, but I don't think that you were the one who started the fight. So if you do feel like that resonates, you know, try to just stop the fighting and just find peace within yourself. Protect your energy. I have a video for that below as well. If you need to protect yourself from negative um, people or situations. I don't really know what else to say, group two, because I know it was a lot. But again, if this did resonate, um, I have plenty of other pick of cards that could hopefully help to continue this message for you. But I do hope that this helped okay so you can let me know below and if you'd like a personal reading you can find my link below um and if you did enjoy this uh feel free to subscribe thank you guys so much sending you love and blessings and i will see you next time okay take care bye, -bye. Hey guys, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number three, which is the white cat. So uh, let's see what advice spirit has for you for whatever situation is in your highest good to hear about today. Spirit, this reading is for group number three, our white cat group. Please and thank you.
Spirit, what is your first message for them for this reading? Thank you. Group three, white cat group. Actually, for the other ones, I had it standing. Um, okay, so you got the Ten of Cups, you got the Star, and what is your advice, please? Just generally speaking, what is your advice? Knight of Cups and the King of Swords. I'm overall feeling a very pleasant energy. It's very healing, very peaceful. It feels like a warm spring day really um so that's a relief and much needed energy is there any particular advice though like anything at all that they would need to hear any other encouragement or advice hmm yeah it is here um we have the nine of pentacles the moon and the queen of cups I feel like there could be somebody in your energy that is affecting you. Like you're, someone in your energy field um, affecting you in some way. Because I'm not sure who this is, but this struck me as somebody um, with this vibe in the face. And the message was kind of something to the effect of like, um, make sure that what you're doing is really what you want or your happiness. Because this Nine of Pentacles person here felt like blah. They, they were just like, meh, like, I don't, I'm not really sure exactly why, but they, they really were kind of blah about whatever it was. So I'm wondering um, who this message is for. I mean, it's supposed to be for you, but uh, it does seem clear that there's someone else in your energy. So we have the moon card here. There could be a little bit of confusion that you're dealing with, especially with dealing with this other person. Maybe there's some miscommunication, actually. And then here we have Queen of Cups. So this this may be somebody else, or actually I'm not even sure anymore because it's like very shared energy. So what is your advice for them, please? For only for group three, what is your advice for them specifically in their situation? Yeah, actually, that does make sense now because the Four of Cups and the Lovers, this could be part of your advice. They're asking you, I think they're kind of asking you to hold back a little bit in some regard. Um, but that's just one small piece of advice in the bigger picture. So they did say something like hold back with regard to this other person if you're giving too much or if they are trying to impose themselves too much on your goal or your path or <clears throat> your mind, you know, something like that. I do think that someone here has a problem with uh, balancing their energy or boundaries, okay? Someone could be kind of a bit pushy, not intentionally, or maybe, but uh, I think that somebody here is having some struggle with, um, yeah, with that type of balance. So that's just one part of it. Anything else about that specific piece? I didn't expect that. I, I didn't think a person would come through here, but it's good to know. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be up to you. This is totally up to you. Something um, with the Two of Pentacles, something here is up for you to decide. And only you, especially obviously if this is your life and your path and your goal. I'm just kind of wondering the extent of the... Um, <clears throat> of the decision for the other person. Like, I'm not sure if this is like um, involving them or if, if they're just kind of, again, encroaching upon a boundary. Can you please tell us a little bit more? Hmm. This is looking a little bit like even group two's energy, so I'm not sure if some of you were also drawn to group two. Um, but in that group, I was explaining something about uh, possible traumas in early life, which could lead to a blockage. You're getting some of the same cards. Um, 
in your case, it's saying here that there is something here with the Wheel of Fortune. This is your destiny. This is something that you're meant to move towards. But here, I kind of feel like the present energy could be something of, I don't know who is going through some sort of internal conflict or even could be chaos or it could be um, maybe a transformation, but somebody right now, either you or, or this person close to your energy, it does seem like someone is really going through this like um, intense shift. It's not going to last forever, um, but I, I kind of feel like that could be relevant right now. I'm not sure exactly in what way. Is there anything else we need to know in terms of their advice, especially moving forward um, for group number three? I think it's all going to be okay. I think that you're meant to climb slowly out of some lower energy if that was relevant and it should be already occurring that's why the energy came through as more pleasant and peaceful and in fact i, I resonate with that because just today i got out of a, a very low energy which i think was energetic i don't really think for once it was um emotional i think it might have been some weird energy that was going around maybe um and i think that it should be lifting for you guys if it hasn't started to already we have the strength card and we have the ace of swords so yeah that to me it confirms it that you are climbing gaining some strength gaining that clarity um and when we have clarity it's one of the best feelings in my opinion it, it's a it, it comes with a feeling of peace um it's just to have clarity is just to be able to breathe again like you know to have clarity of mind to not be so clogged up with all that negative or stagnant energy so i think that this is already occurring for you now some of the implied advice just looking at this as a whole i think might be having to do with clarity so the first thing that they said was like um yeah make sure that whatever it is that you're doing is uh is what makes you happy versus what makes someone else happy that was one thing that they did say with more clarity and then another thing um <clears throat> was uh make sure that you have proper boundaries they didn't say that phrase but that is implied here if somebody is either weighing you down or influencing you in a way that is undesired or trying to live out their their hopes and dreams through you that's really not fair to you so make sure that you are able to speak your truth speak your mind but the but first what you would have to do is be clear with yourself before anything else before we can speak our truth and speak our mind we have to know what that is right so that's why they pointed this out this character here seemed like this person had everything that they could have wanted on the surface but they were unhappy they were unsatisfied so that's why they gave me that meh feeling. So you have to make sure that whatever it is that you're involved with and what you're doing or focusing on, it is for your own true aligned happiness and not for anyone else's or something else's. It even could be an expectation. It could be something that you weren't even aware about that you were doing because it was like this ingrained expectation you may have had from a long time ago, maybe from family, society, whatever, like social media even. It has to be true to you. Otherwise, it really won't go too far in ter I mean in terms of obviously making you happy you could still of course have like certain levels of success that's you know that can always be true but what's the point if it's not aligned with your happiness right so that that I think is their advice is there any other advice um final advice for group number three our white cat group we have man holding a heart blossoming abundance And walking away yeah i mean it's pretty much the same thing nice um confirmation here at the bottom is victory it's it's really the same thing i think that you're you're just trying to walk away and all three groups so far got a message of walking away which is interesting um i think that you are walking away from whatever sort of like um i don't want to call it false visions but it kind of that's the term that came to me uh, from anything that just basically wasn't serving you, wasn't really true to you, it's the same message as before. Um, by doing this, you are making a lot of space to create much more abundance, which is kind of ironic, um, because that's probably not what you would have thought in the beginning. And with man holding a heart, um, what's the message there? It's not really clear. This could be... Um, 
this actually could be the love or compassion or even like guilt that you might feel for someone else. And that's okay, I understand that completely, but you have to make sure that there's a there's some type of balance there because as much as you might care for this other person, whoever this is, um, you have to also care for you as well. And sometimes we do have to do things that it like, it, it's not gonna make another person happy, but it's for the greater good, you know? So some of these things are necessary. So it's up to you, but that's that's kind of how they asked you to do is just to balance, make sure you balance that. Okay, so group three, I think I'm going to leave it there, but um, do let me know if this resonated for you. I really hope that it did. I, I hope that it was helpful. If you want some more personalized messages, you can um, find my link for personal readings below. And if you did enjoy this, feel free to subscribe. So thank you guys so much. Sending you blessings, and I will see you next time, okay? Take care. Bye-bye. Hey guys, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number four, which is the gray cat. So again, this is advice for anything that's in your highest good to hear about at this time. Here at this reading is for group number four, our gray cat group, please and thank you. Do you have any starting message for them about the situation or what is your first message or advice for group four? Thank you. Okay, group four. I think I see where they're going with this. Your first card. It's interesting to me because, you know, when I, when this flipped, I actually saw the King of Swords and they did have a message for that, even though I didn't really see the right card. They said, be clear or be truthful, be honest. And I do think it has to do with like, I, I don't know if it's with another person specifically, but they were referring to something that was basically causing you struggle or pain or um, some sort of a feeling of lack in your life. And they were asking you to be clear and honest about this, okay? So let's go back here. So Hanged Man, Five of Pentacles, we have the Four of Swords, the Six of Wands, <clears throat> and the Five of Cups. There is something here that I think really brings you down and it's really hard to go through because the six of wands is basically I, I feel on some deeper level the type of success or the feeling even of that success and it feels like sometimes you might see you might feel like it's unreachable because of whatever this is so something dragging you down it it's kind of a double whammy here because of the five of pentacles and the five of cups the five of cups could be a little bit more maybe emotional um or i don't know if it's maybe something with mental health whereas the five of pentacles could be something with like even physical illness or uh, financial hardship or some kind of struggle more um either physically or environmentally so i'm not sure which is which right it could be both the four of swords is then this feeling of perhaps inaction, you know, like maybe not being able to take action for these reasons. And Hanged Man kind of also gives the same type of vibe because it's more of like a limbo card too. I'm not really sure what I'm seeing here. Um, the Hanged Man looks like he is enlightened to me. I feel like there could be this enlightenment that is currently with you or coming actually pretty soon, even as soon as today um, or tomorrow, like one, they said like one day. Um, <clears throat> that could be the case. There, there could be some enlightenment, or you know, enlightenment, knowledge, um, some kind of, sh some kind of clarity. Like they're showing me the crown chakra, they're showing me the eyes. So there, there very well could be that coming really, really soon. But they're not showing me where it's going to head next. They're just showing me like this here. That they're showing me what the struggle has been. Can you tell us, please, the advice then for group number four, our gray cat group? What is the advice of their current situation that's in their highest good to know about? I am feeling a relief. I am, I'm feeling a relief coming soon. And with the Nine of Pentacles, they did say something kind of like, lift yourself, lift yourself up. And I didn't really want to say that outright because it, it sounds kind of like, oh, well, that's that's... So it's, it's easier said than done, whatever. Um, 
but that's kind of what you did or that's what you're going to do in order to get out of this energy they, they said something like lift yourself and let me see what let me see more specifically what is the advice please in the current time what is the advice Hmm, you got three nines here. So with the Hermit and the Nine of Swords, and I am taking into account that they were kind of reversed, but um, it does seem like there is a lot of thinking and thinking and thinking going on here. I don't know if you've already done this, probably you have, um, but there is a, a ton of thought and consideration going on here. And yes, there could be, this could be attached to anxiety and worry, maybe even about like what has already occurred and also about what needs to occur. Okay, so this is already happening. It's not exactly advice, but it does feel like this has been the present energy. With the Ten of Swords and with the Nines, actually, it is making me feel like the ending of that particular cycle is coming, right? And I am feeling, again, I'm feeling a relief. I am feeling that you're going to get out of this really soon. And what I find interesting about all of the groups that I've done is that the energy shift that I was seeing was all very close in the span of a few days. Um, but for you guys, you got the shortest amount of time. It was even one day, but here it could be the next few days. So it's really not more than a week, any of these readings that I've done here. Um, so this is already occurring. The Queen of Pentacles is getting ready to get fired up and, and then completely just head out or head forward with that fiery, passionate direction. So I hesitate with your reading because... It's really not advice, actually. I think this is just what you're already going through. I think maybe even many of you know where you're going next uh, or even like know what you have to do, perhaps. So I'm trying to get something kind of different because I feel like this is nothing that you don't know already. Is there anything new or is there anything more? Is there anything helpful? Is there anything that can confirm what they already know? Uh, advice for group four, our gray cat. <clears throat> I mean, not really. Um, we have Page of Cups, which is just showing, it's kind of like this healing, compassionate energy. The Temperance is the same thing, a lot of healing and peace. And then the Fool card is a, t is a totally and completely new beginning. So that's really it. Group four, I, I feel like you're almost out of a cycle. I feel like, if anything, the advice is just to hang in there. Like, just hang in there, have hope, know that this is going to shift very, very, very soon. Um, even as soon as today for some of you, and if not, it could be the next like up to four days, something like that. Um, yeah, and like, uh, just know that it's possible. Visualize yourself becoming free. Just open your mind and energy up to the possibility that this is going to happen. Um, I am seeing, I mean, like I said, I am seeing the shift here. Is there anything that they need to know about like these energies and how to let go of it or where to go next or anything about this and their path? Uh, for only some of you, they said, just try not to fight the same battles that you have been fighting. Try not to keep repeating the same things that weren't work that may not have worked for you before, and try something different. Try something new. Try to implement new changes that will help to get out of any kind of tired old pattern. So that could be new habits. That could be a new environment. That could be um, a, a new action that you didn't take before. Anything at all that will add some positive energy and vibration to your life is highly recommended right now. So that's good. Okay, anything else in terms of their advice? Hmm. What's the advice here? All right, I don't know what this is. <laughs> um, what on earth is this? So we have two queens here we have seven of swords we have two of cups we have ace of wands um this is really really not for everybody but i do see that there could be possible here um some hidden feelings that somebody has um for someone else i i, I really don't know if that's the case but i 
some of you the other advice here is to think of like a strategy or some kind of a solution uh, to get yourself out of a situation again that just really wasn't working for you maybe just taking some steps strategic steps towards that um, but it just seems here like there is some extra energy if you will that is relevant um, and what is the advice though like what's this Jeez, what's going on with these queens? <laughs> like, um, it does seem to me that the divine is trying to get your attention on something, like hardcore trying to get your attention on something. Um, could be about a person in your life, perhaps. Um, but we have all of your angels just like completely bursting out of their hiding place, and like they're just trying. <laughs> they're trying to. They're doing like this weird intervention or something like that. They're 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 completely. I don't even have a word for it, but they're um, charging through all of your angels. I don't know when, maybe they already did this, but if not, they will pretty soon. And they're completely trying to get your attention. I don't know on what, but like, obviously they're trying to show you something that's important to you. If it, it, it may have to do with the person. It may have to do with someone in your energy field, but um, let me find out. Is there anything else about that or any other final advice about that part? I mean, if that does resonate, I really feel like you have to kind of look further into that, but only if it resonates. And I do have other pick of cards. Anything that resonates with you, anything that, any title that calls to you, I recommend to just watch that as a follow-up. Um, we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Star. You don't really have to do much here because the thing is, they're going to show you whatever it is that they're trying to get your attention on so loudly in the next few days or so. And you're not really going to be, you're, you don't need to do anything. You're just going to receive the sign and it's going to be almost or actually impossible for you not to receive the sign because it's going to be completely in your face and so loud, okay? Um, there's no advice for that. You just, like, it's going to happen. Like, that's kind of what I, what I see here. Um, and once it happens, you'll be able to understand further, you know, either if they're trying to direct you in a certain way or basically just trying to give you that that clarity of mind um it wasn't it, it is an important part of your your journey at least for the sake of reflection and knowing the direction you're heading something like that either way the energy is still the same you're still heading towards some type of a specific new beginning i do see you lifting yourself up more and more and more as the steps move forward like i'm seeing a strengthening each part of the way so really great job on that and that's only going to continue And that's it. I, I'm not feeling any other specific advice, but let me just change the deck. I got every one oracle card, so let's do that for you. Spirit, do we have any other final messages or advice for group number four in their situation? weird you have door to romance which is number 33 and then you have third chakra archangel camuel i wonder i wonder what's the advice here hmm. what's going on here <laughs> you have the cornucopia card 11 and 33 here too i don't know Maybe maybe the sign maybe some of you like your uh, repeating number signs like maybe that happens a lot. Cornucopia and victory. I think it will require some discipline and willpower on your part for some of this. So if especially if you needed to take action, if you do need to take action, they are advising that. Yes, that's true. Um, some of this will happen regardless, though. But. What I'm seeing from the door to romance card is you are opening up a you are opening up a center within yourself, primarily most likely the heart chakra or an emotional center such as the sacral. Um, but either way, I'm still seeing 
it's again it's not really advice it's just like um it's just it's trying to show you a glimpse like of the abundance that is being created in your life the victory that you are it's like she it's, it's like she's um smelling the victory <laughs> like it's she can smell it coming towards her so yeah i i think just just know it's possible just um really hang in there if you're currently in a difficult situation it is going to pass very soon um and again if you need to take action go right ahead and do that but this i feel like this is inevitable anyway um, group four, I, I think that's all they kind of wanted to say. Is there a final message besides advice? Just as a final message for them. Yeah, this this again um, with the deceit card. What what do they have to know about that? This is the seven of swords kind of uh, similar card. It does seem that someone here, it could be you, could be someone near you, um, is a bit tied up with thinking something is the case, but it's not. There's an illusion present in your life, but I don't know if you know about it yet. And if you don't, you will soon. Um, maybe it has to do with like your happiness in the long run or like the outcome or, or where you're heading. So look out for that. It, it's okay if you don't, if that doesn't resonate yet, it might, because something is coming loose here with remember the illusion that I talked about and it may have to do with like a strong energy that's in your life or even in your I guess in your energy field somewhere so let me know if that resonates I don't know what that could be but th that that's probably not going to be relevant just yet but maybe come back and let me know too okay so I think I'll just leave it there group four a little mysterious there at the end but that is what I am seeing for you guys um if you do want a personalized reading instead um you can find the link below for my personal readings and if you are new here and if you enjoyed this, feel free to subscribe. So, so thank you so much again. Send you guys blessings and I will see you next time, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.